Welcome back to another segment of Why You Telling My Business? Because I do a great job at it. <laughs> okay, we're going to get right on into it, honey. Bravo, keep dropping us previews of what's coming up for Sunday, the next episode, which will be um, episode one, season three. Honey, they saying Dennis is predicting that the family vacation retreat in Mexico, it's going to turn into Mexico, okay? M-E-S-S-Y, Co, Mexico. I said, that boy, <laughs> that young man right there, it ain't none of my business, but he's all time favorite for this Porsche family matters, honey. We probably didn't care too much for him because of the cheating and, you know, him lying about it and, and him have to come back and... You don't have to tell the truth, okay? <laughs> I'm like, boy, Dennis done came up off a of Porsche and her platform. I ain't saying Dennis went out there doing his thing and, you know, I just didn't ever hear about him, okay? Until Porsche got with him on Housewives, okay? And then we started hearing about his business and it being around for X amount of years and him putting in that hard work and like you said Porsche don't mess with no broke people <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and Dennis can recognize that he did wrong he cheated but you know he could be a better man if Porsche was by his side and Porsche signed that prenup agreement okay because if she thinking that that mama right there Miss Miss Gina gonna give up all her hard work and her time and her effort with helping her son get that business off the ground She's sadly mistaken. She is sadly mistaken. <sighs> she would like to see her family, uh, meaning PJ's family, I should say, and her son get back with Portia. But it comes with uh, stipulations. It comes with an agreement, a contractual agreement, is what Miss Gina talking about. And if she had her way, she would probably let Lauren marry her son. Because she knows Lauren got a little bit more ethical sense about herself. A little bit more morality. But she is kind of boring. You know, she don't have that sex appeal that Portia ex ex exude uh, wherever she goes. She don't have that je ne sais quoi like uh, Portia tries to do. And Dennis is pretty much telling her, honey, let, drop that Grandpa Zero and come on mess with this hero. You know it's fun. It's fun and games over here. You know I got the loot for you. We could be another Bunny and Clyde. Another Jay-Z and Beyonce. Okay, yes, we could do this thing. But you got to slow your roll now. Slow your roll when you mess with my mama. Okay, talk like you got some sense. Because 9 times 10, they're going to be arguing again about their situation. Then you got Lauren look like she's trying to be in a fight. First fight with Portia. Okay, and I know they're probably talking about SG. She, I don't think Lauren care too much for SG. She don't like them. You can tell. They don't have like no hugging and sense going on. No kiki, ha ha. No familiar ground is what I'm saying that they can come together with. And honey, Medina, she ain't settling for nothing less than a prenup. Okay? She said you can do whatever you want to do. You can stay with that old grandpa, old looking man if you want to. But if you come back to my son, you're going to have to sign a prenup agreement. That's it. That's all. No more discussion. And she's probably telling Portia, look, you're going to sign a prenup with that man. His last wife signed a prenup. Okay. So if you so hell bent on not signing a prenup with my son and making sure he good if everything goes south. I ain't trying to feed. I ain't trying to take care of your mama. That seems like she don't want to work. Your grandma should be retired, but she might want some of the empire that we got building over him. But you said, of course, she cheated on Dennis, too. <laughs> <laughs> and that is definitely one of the long standing jokes that's going to be there for a while that we got to throw up here and there on Miss Portia. Okay? Of course, you know she wasn't right. She trying to juggle two men at the same damn time. Now, where they do that at? Didn't Mama Diane teach you that, Portia? Or did your grandmama teach you that? Yeah, I want you to quit. I want you to quit making yourself look like a fool out here. That's what I want to do. That's exactly what I want you to do. Stop making yourself look like a fool on TV. 
I mean, granted, you still making money, but Lord, the after effect. And your sister, to me, she wants you to be back with Dennis. Dennis fun. Dennis get her in different places, okay? Let her meet different men. Simon can't do nothing for her. Simon can't do nothing. He can't do nothing that Lauren want him to do. And he pretty much has said, you can't do nothing for me, the Portia, but have a good time. You the good time chick. You ain't somebody he want to make business moves with. He said, you the, you the um good time chick. You the party chick. He like hanging out with you. And I think Dennis just soaking. He just soaking. Because he want Portia back. He sure do. He just don't know how to get her back. And he kind of prideful too at the same time. And Miss, L L I think her name Lundy. I don't too much care for her. I don't know what it is. Because it seems like she plays both fence. She talk about Lauren behind her back with Portia. And then she want to cozy up with Lauren to try to talk to Dennis. You know, I'm like, what, what's, what it is? What you, what kind of fence is it London playing? That's why I said, I can't, mm-mm. Why don't you show me who you are or who you think you may be thinking you are? I got to leave you alone, especially if it ain't for the positive. I just got a jet. Go stage left or stage right. Can't fool with people like that. But Dennis, he's a hard-working man. He likes to have fun. He likes to party. But he ain't no fool because his mama. Then you might want to call him a mama's boy if you must. I, I look at him that way. He ain't going to uh definitely... Go over mama head, especially when he know his mama was there for him. He like, baby, Portia, come on, baby, let's party. Let's live this life. Let's do this thing. We got a child together. We might well grow old together. Go on and dump that zero and come on and be with the hero. That's what he's saying. And Lauren is on his uh, team, two team, Dennis McKinley. All right. And probably had the population is too. When we looking at this situation, like what you don't got yourself into. Because quiet as it kept, loud as I'm going to speak it out, I'm pretty sure Dennis is close to being a billionaire. If he's definitely uh, been frugal, like his mama has been trying to say, they might be sitting on a nice nice nest egg, Portia. But you ain't going to get it all because he has to divide it between his mama, his daughter, and then you. Because I think he just want to have a good time. He want to live life. Uh, the way he see he wants to live life. He don't want to hurt nobody. And, you know, Dennis has definitely been a good old boy here. That we can sympathize with and we can definitely relate to. And because he gives us his vulnerable side. And he gives us his good side. And he gives us his cheating side. Which you want to kind of keep that on the hush. Hush, you know he messed up. That's why I think he joined this show too. To show some type of camaraderie, camaraderie with Portia. And probably... Get his ends, his dividends on the back end. You know, Porsche might be cutting him a check on the back just to have a supporting storyline in case Simon goes left. Which it seems like pretty much, that's pretty much all where it, it has gone since we started this situation. Left, stage left. Just put a bag over him. He done. Put a fork in him. He done, Portia. Cut your losses and just make the show be about maybe you and Dennis getting back together. I mean, look at the two evils you're dealing with. Which one is better? You know? I don't know why Dennis just like plain stuff. But he might just be a plain gentleman. But he seems like he's a... Um, he could be a good friend. He may not be a good um, husband at this time. Not saying he can't develop into it. But he just don't want that added pressure. Because he knows what kind of woman Portia is. He seems to be attracted to those kind of women. But he ain't no fool now. Because he's been an er er ugh, a eligible bachelor thus far. And he might not have many loves. Many loves out there. But he ain't had no baby by him. Because I don't think. He just don't seem the type where he would tell you. Oh you need to get rid of that. You need to get an abortion. You know what I'm saying. I think he's a stand up guy where if he planted it. He would take care of it. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, but he needs that prenup Portia. And I understand. You want your family to be together. You know you already said on simon's table that you know men are gonna cheat this is what they do he can have these many wives but he's an american i'm an american we believe in one wife one woman you know what i'm saying one one wife one man so <laughs> i don't know where they're going with it i think they should just give their family another try because gina ain't going nowhere 
PJ is her first grandchild, I'm thinking. And she loves her grandchild. That Gina ain't going nowhere. Gina going to keep it real all day long. And Lauren definitely going to be up in his face all the time. And you know, like I say, somebody be with him stroking that ego all the time. Sit there and answer all his calls when he get bored. Anything can happen and it usually does. Don't let Lauren go behind your back and fall for Mr. Dennis, which, you know, then it should definitely be pumping and brakes that way. Cause that's not a good look. You can't go through the whole family. Dennis. Okay. So, I really hope you and Portia do get back together. But Portia got a lot of growing up to do. And she needs to keep her family. Especially her mom. Since her mom ain't giving her no direction in her adult life anyway. Now. You know. She need to keep them out of her business. I mean everybody. And you know. Once she signed that prenup. Which I hope she does. Because uh, it's just saving security for everybody that's around the big subject of the money ball. You know, who invested it, how long they invested it, and the time and, and tears and sweat they did. She got to honor uh, Dennis' mama. If he, she definitely was a pivotal part and financial contributor to the business. She can't just go in and swoop in and think she's going to take all that away. You know, because that might be her livelihood as well. And it might be her way of... Showing her independence as she's getting older. That she can still do stuff. You know what I'm saying? For somebody to swoop in. Not really giving two shits of a shit's tail. Because they had her filming in Real Housewives of Atlanta on one season. Where she was at the hot dog factory trying to make hot dogs and this, that, and that. You know, it's just crazy. And she's putting out somebody else's uh, fortune. You know, everybody can't be in the line light, the starlight, and have people clapping and taking pictures. And some people don't want to be in that light. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what Dennis is all about. He can be around those people, but he don't want all them folks up in his business. He don't want that hoopla with all the stardom that it gives you. He don't want to live in a fishbowl, uh, per se. And that was Portia life. That's what she wants. But Portia don't want to give and take. At least that's what she's showing on this show. She's not a one that's going to settle. She's not a one that's going to uh, be compromising with certain situations. She, she wants it all, all, all. Her way, her way, her way. But she ain't say that Mr. Cordell. She definitely ain't saying that shit to uh, Simon G. You know what I'm saying? SG ain't finna have that. So why she want to pick old, old Paul Dennis? Okay? Because he's letting her do her every day, all day. But yet, you know, he wants some time for himself. But he ain't sitting up there like old Gabadia talking about, oh, you spending too much time with the kids. I need some of that love and I need some of that attention myself. You know, a complete narcissist. So, ooh, child, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. But then he said, we go on this Mexico trip. It's going to be Mexi Mexico. Because I ain't letting nobody talk to my mama all kind of sideways. And I definitely ain't finna let Gabadia tell me anything. And I don't too much particular like him hanging around my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I, I got that vibe. I got that vibe. But he's trying to, you know, hold his mule. Trying to be the good dad. Trying to be the good ex-boyfriend. Trying to hold his mule with his thoughts, his opinions, and his suggestions. But it seems like it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot this uh, coming episode. I don't know if it's going to be where the fight intrudes, you know, in, you know, in, in shrouds. You know, I don't know. But if it's any tit for tat going on, I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't swing. Not there. Don't swing because that's an assault case. That's an assault charge. And if you ain't got the bail money. And see, that's wasted. You know, when you have to get the fight and you have to sit there and pay bail money and restitution. Especially if you're using the wrong from offending a person that you had. Got your paws on and stuff. Child, it's a hot mess. A hot mess. But yeah, that's all I had, y'all. It was Lauren and um, Portia's other co cousin, London, met up with um, Dennis at some spot. I guess he liked hanging out. It wasn't his restaurant. And it was no real uh, plush type, um, you could, we call it after nine dining type of situation. Uh, so kind of like a little bar lounge or something like not really a bar. I ain't gonna say that. It was more so like a maybe a little eating joint where they had a nice environment and stuff. But uh, something where you probably go have lunch at. But they met up with him and they bought some of his clothes back from Porsche. His furs, you know, Dennis like wearing furs. 
hopefully he won't get, go to New York and sit there and they'll throw paint on it or flour or anything else to mess up. Because, you know, Peter, those uh, pet organizi organizations, organized, they don't, they, you ain't finna kill no innocent pet to make it be a coat for you. You see what I'm saying? But it seems like Dennis like that fur and stuff. And that's probably why Portia got her mess from. Because she always try to mimic her man uh, dressed alike and all that kind of stuff. Like we back in high school. Which I believe. But anyway, Dennis like it. He he, he thrives in uh, making Portia happy and seeing her happy. But he's frugal. And see, Portia got to understand uh, that everything ain't about a Cadillac. Ain't about a escalate ain't about a rolls royce living in the mansions you know he ain't really about that life he just want a little comfortable frugal and have something when he get old okay and where he's not dependent on pj to help him out okay he wants to be well retired with enough income where he can help um pj out with any of her entrepreneurship endeavors or not, she wants to go to college, she wants to be able to pay for it so she don't have that bill to be looking at after she graduates. You know, he's just trying to be the best man I think he can be. And he loves his mom. And he's trying to respect her on all fronts, which he should. And I pretty much don't think she's overstepped her boundaries, okay? I think they, you know, they've been poking the bear, they've been poking the bear, and, you know, when they get poked out too much about her son, child, she's going to go in, she's going to go in, she's going in, and she's tan she coming in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> and she's not a runner, she's not a track star, she's going to stand there and defend herself like Goliath in that big old giant, okay? Yes, she might be tiny, she might be short, she might not look like she weigh that much, but she got some power behind her, honey. She got a mouth, I can tell you that. Be it's a lot red when we got this lot loaded and ready to spray on your behind. Anytime she feels like it, okay? Cause she knows she got Porsches, but last uh episode uh last week she got them. Portia like, oh, what, what you said about my mama? She said, honey, I got it from your mama. The gossip that I'm telling you, it's true to not gossip. It's the truth. It came from your mama. Unless your mama's lying, then your mama's a liar. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm trying to tell you what your mama told me. And she told me, you cheated on my son also. So that makes you a cheater. So that makes both of y'all a cheater. And PJ got to deal with both of y'all. Now, ain't that a hot mess? Okay. But anyway, that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Okay? If y'all enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. Okay? Let's grow my channel. Let's grow it. If you like the laughter, the comedy, and the foolishness that I give out, tell your friends, your foes, whoever. Sign up for my channel. Subscribe. It costs nothing. Share my videos, guys. That will also help me. And definitely like them, like them, like them. Okay, but I'll see y'all next video. Peace out.